please remain standing for the national anthem. On behalf of the spring class of 2018, the faculty, the staff, students, alumni, I would like to welcome all of you to the spring commencement exercises at Georgia Southwestern State University. I'd like to particularly thank Dr. Julie Meganson and the University Choir for our national anthem. Thank you all very much, it's beautiful. Those of us who work here at the university, we certainly understand that a college campus is a wonderful place. There are many, many special and exciting days. We get to enjoy the art shows, the plays, opening days, the games, research symposiums. But twice each year, we come together to celebrate our most important and our most exciting event, commencement. Georgia Southwestern's campus is full of extraordinary men and women, and we cherish our unique position from which we can watch you grow and develop. We know that you grow and develop in both knowledge and in maturity. And because of this, we take tremendous joy from your success and great pride in your accomplishments. As faculty and administrators, we may occasionally grumble about these robes or the odd hats that we wear, but when we hear your name called and when we see the smiles on your family's faces and we hear the shouts and the cheers from the crowd, we remember exactly why we chose this profession. All of us at GSW are proud of you and we're especially proud for you. At this time, I'd like to introduce the platform guests who are seated behind me. If I could have everybody's uh, assistance and resistance uh, and not clap until we are completed with the introductions, uh, that will save us the trouble of arguing about who the most popular is. Uh, first, uh, Ms. Linda Lee Purvis, our Interim Vice President for Academic Affairs. And I have to take just a moment of personal privilege here. Uh, Ms. Purvis has served in the interim role for a year, 
She has been at this institution many years, and she tells me that she is going to retire again at the end of this year, and I want to personally thank her for this, my first year here at the university, and uh, the, the guidance and the advice that she has given to me and the leadership she has provided to our academic programs. And I want to wish her all the best in her second retirement. Second retirement, thank you. Our commencement speaker, Rick Whaley. Mr. Richard Arnold, president of the GSW Alumni Association. Mr. Tristam Aldridge, our interim vice president for student affairs. Ms. Krista Smith, university registrar. Dr. San Sandra Daniel, the dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Dr. Rachel Abbott, dean of the School of Education. Dr. Boris Peltzberger, dean of the School of Mathematics and Computing. Dr. Liz Wilson, Dean of the School of Business Administration, and Dr. Kelly McCoy, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Will you please join me in recognizing and thanking these distinguished individuals? I'd also like to introduce a few special guests who are with us today. One very special to me is my wife, Christy, over here along with uh, Jenny Whaley, right next to her, very good, thank you for being here. I want to introduce Senator Greg Kirk, who represents Georgia District Number 13. Thank you for being here. Representing the GSW Alumni Association, Mr. Len Hicks, Miss Lisa Holloway, and Miss Kathleen Tucker, all over here. And representing the GSW Foundation Board of Trustees, Dr. Sam Adams, and Mrs. Mary Fogel. Uh, thank you all very much, and we appreciate your attendance today. It's also important for me and for this institution to recognize all of those people who have served our country and protected all of us and protected our country in a way that allows us to have these kind of ceremonies. So if uh, we'd certainly like to recognize all of you who have served either in our armed forces or as a first responder. If any of you are here with us today, would you please stand and let us thank you for what you have done for all of us. Graduates, today is your day. You guys are the star of this show. All these people have come to see you and to be with you. We know how hard you have worked to get to this point, and we know that you have, without a doubt, earned this recognition and the degree you are about to receive. But it is that at that moment when you get the urge to pat yourself on the back, that you should stop and think about all of those people who made sacrifices so that you could be successful. No achievement comes without sacrifice, and many of you were able to attend Georgia Southwestern because of the sacrifices of others. And I know that many of those people are here with us today, and they are excited for you, and ready to celebrate this accomplishment with you. It might be your mom and dad, it might be your grandparents, it might be your spouse and children, or your brothers and sisters, or it might be a combination of all of those people and others. But no matter who they are, I know from looking around this rather crowded room that for each of you, there is someone. So graduates, I think it's appropriate that we take just a moment to thank those who are with us today and those who helped you along this path. So would you help me recognize all of your supporters? As
As you can see, there are also many members of the Georgia Southwestern faculty with us this afternoon to share in this exciting moment with you. GSW's faculty is an outstanding group of professionals who take great pride in their work and in their students. A substantial percentage have earned their doctorates, and in many disciplines they have brought Georgia Southwestern not only statewide, but also regional, national, and international recognition. They care a great deal about each and every student they teach. It is their caring that is on display here today. Please join me in expressing our appreciation to the outstanding members of the faculty for their commitment to their students and to GSW. Thank you. Graduates, today you are joining a very distinguished group of individuals. You are now, or you will be in a few moments, Southwestern, Georgia Southwestern alumni. And that distinction will stay with you all of your life. The value of your relationship and connection with your alma mater will be up to you. But I can assure you the best way to increase the value of your degree over time is to become an active member of the GSW Alumni Association. At Georgia Southwestern, we want to be your lifelong educational partner. So here to further explain the benefits of the association is the president of the GSW Alumni Association, Mr. Ricky Arnold. It's my privilege to welcome you to our family. I want to welcome the friends and, and faculty who are here today. Your support has meant a lot in getting these graduates to this point. I want to welcome all of you who are graduating and emerging to the ranks of GSW alumni. As a member of the graduating class of 1976, no, I'm not that old, I just, you know, just act that way on occasion. It was very meaningful to me, truly was, to be able to, I'm a resident of Americas, so I would only live two blocks from here, and I always dreamed of leaving. Guess what? I have to have papers to get out of Americas now. But it's a privilege to be called an alumni of GSW. Just a little bit ago, I was waiting, uh, waiting for Neil, as a matter of fact, in the, in the cloak room, and I walked to the restroom. I turn around, and there's a young lady who was there, and I introduced myself, she introduced herself, as an online student from Tampa who'd flown up to walk. And I got to thinking, I said, you know, we are all family, whether we're online or here on the campus. It's a special place, a special group of people, Never forget where you came from and the people who helped you, as you heard Neil say, to achieve these dreams that you have. Graduation from GSW is just another chapter in the book of life. But what will the next chapter read like? With the summer upon us, some of you will take some time off. Still others will continue the pursuit of other degrees other things in life. But I would like for you to take a little time, just a little time, to think about the many blessings that others have been to you. Now you have that opportunity to be a blessing to others. I closed uh, graduation last year with a quote from one of Sumter County's own. He was a successful lawyer and a businessman who left everything to found Habitat for Humanity and then the Fuller Center. Just three weeks ago, we had over 100 people from around the world here in Americas building two homes. They didn't know us from anybody else, but they were here to be a blessing. They did it to be that blessing to someone in need. Millard Fuller who had this comment, in quote, 
said, it's not your blue blood, it's not your pedigree, it's not even your college degree, it's what you do in life that counts. Welcome to our family. All right, I'm really excited today to have Mr. Rick Whaley serve as our speaker. As the son of a career soldier, he was born not too far from here at Fort Benning and settled in Americas in the sixth grade following his father's retirement. After graduating from Americas High School, he served in the United States Army Special Forces as a Green Beret and then served as a reservist for 10 years. He was the youngest master sergeant in the Alabama National Guard, earned six Army Achievement Medals and three accommodations. Following his service, he attended Georgia Southwestern on the GI Bill and graduated magna cum laude in 1989 with a Bachelor of Science degree in political science. He currently serves as the President and CEO of Citizens Bank of Americas, a position he has held since August 2001. In his position, he is committed to keeping up with the ever-evolving technology and banking services while remaining dedicated to the needs of customers and the relationships reflective of a community bank. Prior to joining Citizens Bank, he was a commercial lender, corporate lender, and Central Georgia Market President for Wachovia Bank. Mr. Whaley currently serves as Vice Chairman of the Federal Home Loan Bank of Atlanta and is a board member of the Georgia Bankers Association Insurance Trust, Care Connect, Phoebe Sumter Foundation, and the Charles L. Mix Memorial Fund, among others. He is a lifetime trustee and past chairman of the GSW Foundation and past chairman of the Georgia Bankers Association. He has shown honor to this nation through his service, dedication to Americas and Sumter County as an active citizen and, and businessman, and his commitment to Georgia Southwestern through his ongoing involvement and support of his alma mater. Please help me welcome back to campus GSW alumnus, Mr. Rick Whaley. Thank you so much, President Weaver, faculty, staff, students, and families. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Outstanding job. I know the hard work leading up to today did not come without a lot of support and teamwork. So congratulations to all the moms and the dads the grandparents, the aunts and uncles, and the siblings. It's been almost 29 years to the day that I graduated from GSW. There's a few things that I still remember about that day. I remember not feeling well from partying too late the night before. I'm sure none of you are feeling that right now. I remember how proud my parents were to have two sons graduating together, especially me, who earlier in life had shown no interest in attending college. And I remember receiving a congratulations card from a former girlfriend that I had not communicated with nor seen in over eight years. And that card changed my life forever because on May 26th, I will be celebrating 28 years of marriage with that former girlfriend, Jenny Sanderlin Whaley, a 1984 graduate of Georgia Southwestern. So you may have picked up on the fact that I graduated five years after my wife, <clears throat> which may lead you to wonder, did she marry a much younger man? No, I'm older. 
Uh, I just got a little later start in life. I was 27 when I enrolled in Southwestern, and I was age 30 when I graduated. And I point this out for two reasons. One, I don't want you to think my wife is a cougar. <laughs> She's going to kill me for saying that. But more importantly, I don't ever... Uh, don't ever let someone tell you it's too late to change the d direction of your life. But of all the things I remember about my graduation, I don't remember who the commencement speaker was or anything about the message he delivered to the class of 1989. So based on that, if I can't make this speech memorable, I will at least make it short. After accepting the honor of delivering today's commencement speech, I began to ponder what my message to you should be. With that in mind, I asked myself what I wished I had known at my own graduation, and what important lessons have I learned about achieving success in the 29 years between that day and today. So I'm going to share some advice about achieving success in life that I believe really matters. Number one, believe in yourself and have faith in your abilities. Achieving success starts with believing you can do something and being passionate about achieving it and never, never giving up. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. Number two, set your goals high don't settle for less. The difference between you and someone you envy is you settle for less. Achieving success is a process, not an event. Some goals may happen overnight. Others require time, determination, and hard work. You may face obstacles, but do not get discouraged. Michael Jordan once said, if you're trying to achieve success, there will be roadblocks. I've had them, everybody has had them, but obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. A successful life includes not having regret for not following your dreams. Number three, protect your reputation and integrity. Integrity is always doing the right thing, even when no one is looking, and even when the choice isn't easy. Headlines are often dominated by good people that make the wrong choices. You will have to make choices that define who you are and what you believe in. Often, these choices seem insignificant, but they aren't. Even the smallest action can have an impact on your career, your integrity, and ultimately, your reputation. Your reputation will always stay with you, so protect it. You're never wrong to do the right thing. Number four, never stop learning. Whether you're an entry-level employee, fresh out of college, or a CEO, you don't know it all. A formal education just scratches the surface and is a drop of our capacity to learn. Make it a habit to learn something new each day. Successful people are lifelong students. Number five, be reliable. Reliability is a key component of work performance. Reliability is one of those qualities that is either present or absent. In fact, good quality work will not be enough to make up for a lack of reliability. You cannot be partially reliable or even mostly reliable. To be reliable means to be consistent regardless of the amount of effort it takes. When people are counting on you, don't let them down. 
Number six, and my wife will laugh when I say this one. I didn't say I practice all of these, they're just secrets to success. Live a balanced life. In today's fast-paced world, we are constantly pulled in several different directions by work, family, friends, and our community. A balanced life should include doing a good job at work and spending quality time with your family. A balanced life means taking care of your body, keeping it running well with good foods, exercise, and rest. Good health is one of your greatest assets. Take care of it. A balanced life means occasionally disconnecting from this crazy world of constant connection and taking time to think, reflect, and solve problems. It allows us to consider our opportunities and challenges, goals, and dreams away from the tyranny of the urgent. Number seven, keep your lifestyle below your income. A University of Virginia business professor once said, the only money that you are ever really worth is the money you earn when you don't work. If your output exceeds your input, your upkeep will destroy you. So keep your lifestyle below your income and build your passive income pile. Number eight, learn to have patience. Patience is not easy to attain. It's probably harder now to achieve than ever before, especially in today's world of instant everything. Patience is not an absence of action, but is all about timing Patience is waiting for the right time to act, for the right principles, and in the right way. Number nine, be kind to everyone. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. People will not always remember how much money you made or what you accomplished, but they will always remember if you were a good person, whether you were fair, and how compassionate you were. Number 10, and my last words of advice, listen and respect the opinions of others. One of the best ways to show respect for someone is to truly listen to another's point of view. Obviously, we will not always agree with one another on every topic, but we should allow each other to have and express our own views regardless of whether we agree with them or not. The leader in the room is not the smartest or the loudest or the most opinionated. The leader in the room is the one that listens and finds compromise, not contention. To the Georgia Southwestern State University class of 2018, you are about to graduate and begin a new chapter in life. This new chapter will be full of opportunities, but those opportunities will come with challenges. GSW has prepared you well to capture those opportunities and overcome any challenges. Always remember, the only limitation to achieving success in life is you. I leave you with this inspirational quote by Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Nothing worthwhile is easy. Your ability to overcome unfavorable situations will provide you with time to demonstrate your true strength and determination for success. Always set your standards high. Your greatest achievements lie within the infinite feats you achieve in life. Thank you very much, and go Canes! Good afternoon. I'm Linda Lee Purvis, Interim Vice President for Academic Affairs.
and I welcome you to our Spring 2018 Commencement Ceremony. We're delighted to have you here, family and friends, here to celebrate this important milestone in your graduate's life. But we want to be sure that every graduate's name can be heard when it is called, so that they will get full recognition for their achievements. While applause is welcome, out of respect for our graduates, their families, and friends, please refrain from prolonged loud cheering, air horns, or other distractions that would disrupt the ceremony. Today, over 330 candidates will receive diplomas for master's and baccalaureate degrees awarded by our five colleges and schools, each chaired by an academic dean. It is my pleasure at this time to recognize these deans who will be assisting in the hooding of our master's degree students. Dr. Kelly McCoy, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Elizabeth Wilson, Dean of the School of Business Administration. Dr. Boris Peltzberger, Dean of the School of Computing and Mathematics. Dr. Rachel Abbott, Dean of the School of Education. Dr. Sandra Daniel, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Georgia Southwestern State University provides the following master's degrees. The Master of Arts in English, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science in Computer Science, Master of Education, and Master of Science in Nursing. I would like to introduce the graduate program chairs who will be assisting the deans in the hooding of these candidates for these master's degrees. The hooding of graduate students signifies advanced scholarly achievements. Before receiving their diplomas, each candidate is hooded by the respective program chair and their dean. The graduate chairs participating in today's ceremony are Dr. Carol Bishop, School of Business, School of Business Administration, Dr. Sam, Simon Bive, School of Computing and Mathematics, Dr. Bonnie Simmons, School of Nursing. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise? Mr. President, oops, there you are. <laughs> Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of Georgia Southwestern State University, I present for the conferring of degrees those candidates standing before us and whose names are in the printed program who have satisfactorily completed all requirements for their degrees. Before I award you to your degrees, I need to apologize. I forgot to introduce and have our choir sing the song they were supposed to sing. So if you're following along in the program and wondered what happened, uh, I messed up. So I want to apologize to the choir and to Julie uh, for, for messing that up. And they left, so we don't get to hear the song today. So I apologize to all of you. I can assure you it would have been fantastic. All right. Back to what we're supposed to be doing. Consistent with the statutes of the state of Georgia, the rules and regulations of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, the rules and regulations of the University System of Georgia Board of Regents, and by the authority vested in me by the Regents, it is my pleasure to confer on each of you the master's degree as printed in the program with all the rights, ranks, privileges, and responsibilities such a degree carries among scholars. In testimony thereof, you may now come forward and receive your degree and your academic hooding. Carla Grace Basco.
Kimberly Joy Clark. Jonathan Thomas Fall. <laughs> Reagan L. Fretwell. Tracy Dawn Griffin. Courtney Lynn Harmon. Misty Harry. Christina Murphy. Samantha Kathleen Price. Hugh Lewis Puckett, Jr. Sandra Cafui Santiago. <laughs> Cody Duncan Stripling. Candace Sonia Marie Wright. Janak Raz Chapagain. <laughs> Kalyan Ridi Redavari.
Nasifatu Bakari. Timothy Blake Burnham. Yancey Clark Cochran. Brianna Lynn Darley. Calvin Edward Deffenbaugh. Derek Lee Isom. Sherry C. Ellis. Lauren Taylor Frody. Cynthia Lee, Germany. Martha Gibbs. Victoria Kilandra Herat. Lisa Jo Jenkins. Heather Morris Kemp. Crystal Brooke Lee. Lacey Page Martin. Kristen Lee Murrah. Olawatoyan Yamisi Okafor. Jessica Elaine Oots. Ashley Diane Ring. (laughs) 
Sunshine Ann Rowles. Jessica Lynn Smith. Brandy Michelle St. John. Shay Horsting Stevens. Christy Sellers Stewart. Annie Mae Walker. Michael A. Woodard. Please join me in applause for the, these students to celebrate their achievements. We now move to the bachelor's degrees. Georgia Southwestern State University provides the following baccalaureate degrees. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Education, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Will the candidates for these degrees please rise? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of Georgia Southwestern State University, I present for the conferring of degrees those candidates standing before us and whose names are in the printed program who have satisfactorily completed all requirements for their degrees. Consistent with the statutes of the state of Georgia, the rules and regulations of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, the rules and regulations of the University System of Georgia Board of Regents, and by the authority vested in me by the Regents, it is my pleasure to confer on each of you the baccalaureate degree as printed in the program with all the rights, ranks, privileges, and responsibilities such a degree carries among scholars. In testimony thereof, you may now come forward and receive your degree.
Gloria in Hunyan Nachi Akchoka Bandu. Angela Cherie Bakum. Mercedes Benitez. Imani Crystal Binet. Ashiban Germain Blaze. Joshua Bernard Bradshaw. Jakivian Centario Brinson. Taylor Logan Burks. Brianna Janae Carter. Charlon Amelia Valentine Cochran. Braxton Gray Cruz. Trevor John Dempsey. Ashley Blake Denby Summa Cum Laude. Joshua David Dill, cum laude. Raquel Louise Eplin. Brandon Keon Foster. Caitlin Nicole Faust. Eilina Delaine Fries. Magnum Cum Laude. Daniel Luke Goss. Emily Michelle Grumman, Cum Laude. Elizabeth, Laura Elizabeth Hatfeld, Cum Laude. Tyrrell Cooper Hoffman, Jr. Molly Elena Ivy. Joshua Michael Logan, cum laude. Rose Marie Lowell. Andrew Bryant May. Madison Gracie McMinn. Jesse Caleb Mims. Nolan Edward Moore. Anna Vu Wynn, Magnum Cum Laude. Courtney Estrus Ostras, Cum Laude. Andrew Robert Patrick. Mindy K. Peterson. Unita. Tira Unita Pettiford. Justin Christopher Ralston. Shola Amy Rezai, cum laude. Randall Shane Roberts. Jessica Lynn Robinson, cum laude. Hunter Daniel Rutledge. Emily Danielle Schulfer. Tatum Holton Strivers. Christopher Philip Steinwalk. 
Megan Childs Weaver. <laughs> Alexa Denise Whitaker. Tristan Taylor Wiggins. Burkima L. Williams. Hannah Diane Williams. Taisha Nicole Williams. Ashley Tangia Woodson. Chelsea Deanne Wright. John Chadwick Atkins. Stephen Montford Blythe. Ryan Brennan. Jameson Dylan Brown. Elizabeth Castaneda. Olivia Morgan Clements. Dakota Michaela Collins. Michael Clint Collins. Amelia Victoria Lee Cornell, summa cum laude. Carrigan Blaze Crawley, Magnum Cum Laude. Jennifer Sims Davis. Lisa Michelle Davis. Cameron L. Dozier. Carson Banks Fields, summa cum laude. Tanya Bruce Fuller. Consuela Aide Gonzalez Garcia, magnum cum laude. Ashley Lynn Gray. Cheyenne Elise Hayslip. Mandy Madonna Hogan, magnum cum laude. Kristen Alexis Jackson. Daniel El Alonzo James. <laughs> Lindsay Nicole Kirk. <laughs> David Ralph Kretzer. <laughs> Casey Allen Lamb, cum laude.
Marielle Lawrence. Justin Blake Lindsay. Amanda Nicole Lockerbie. Shira Janae Lynch. Jonathan Patrick Martin. Lindsay Nicole McCullough. Karina Noemi Moreno. Mary Caitlin Pless. Christina Diane Smith. Allison Marie Stewart, magnum cum laude. Lawson Dozier Stewart. Tarek David Jackson Stratford. Joshua Canaan Swift, magnum cum laude. Timothy John Tapp. Inza Irene Thomas. Jamie Lynn Tucker, cum laude. Bryant Anthony Villada. Jasmine Siobhan Walker. Callie Lane Whaley. Brenton Reed Baysmore, magnum cum laude. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Duplishin. <laughs> Megan Ann Perry. <laughs> Timothy T. Travis. Emily Marie Abel, magnum cum laude. <laughs> Kelly Elizabeth Altman. <laughs> Asia Laquise Barthel. <laughs> Caitlin Toya Bennett. Jessica Ann Bingham. Sydney Lewis Carithers.
Jadian Deshaun Carricker. Rebecca Meander Coleman. Carmela Marie Conrad. Shatiria Janae Crawford. Owen Elizabeth Dillard. Anna Grace Dixon. Catherine Brooke Elliott. John Christopher Exum. Samantha Ann Farius. Magnum Cum Laude. Savannah Elizabeth Geralds, cum laude. Cassandra Marie Gibbs, cum laude. Hunter Ashley Green, magnum cum laude. Hannah Elise Green. Caitlin Brett Griffin, magnum cum laude. Emily Ray Harold, summa cum laude. Deanna Ruth Henderson, cum laude. Alexis Lynn Hogan, magnum cum laude. Elena Nicole Hocum, magnum cum laude. Kristen Lee Johnson. Lucas Ray Kimmel. Michaela Elise Lagree. Olivia Rachel McEwen. Casey Lynn McGovern. Daniel Alden Menson. Phaedra Lee Merritt, summa cum laude. Deanna Hutto Miles, magnum cum laude. Savannah Lynn Mobley. Miracle Don Oaks. Shelby Newell Odom, magnum cum laude. Ashley Rebecca Owens. Arely Perez. Alana Blake Perry. Sarah Ricardo. Shelby Margaret Roberts. Amy Brianna Robinson, magnum cum laude. Tristan Michael Rodriguez. 
Emily Grace Sellers. Natalie Shane Stevens. George Bradley Tucker. Silvio Pollock da Costa Valido, summa cum laude. Emma Barbara Wagner, magnum cum laude. Wade Andrew Whitley. Madison Danielle Whitaker, magnum cum laude. Haley Alexis Wood, summa cum laude. Travarius Deshaun Wynn. Elizabeth Aaron Young, cum laude. Christy Claire Ammons. <laughs> Ashley Chanel Stevens Anderson. <laughs> Aaliyah Nicole Bandu. Michael Brett Michael Brandon Breedlove Rachel Maureen Broom Cum laude Camilla Brianna Bynes Kennedy Ellen Can. Christopher Robert Carey. Caitlin Elizabeth Cooper, cum laude. Mitchell Dean Corden. Macy Elizabeth Crawford. <laughs> Natasha Nicole Crosby. <laughs> Bless Chandler Dara. Sydney Clark Davis, cum laude. Whitley Christian Davis. April Danae Decker. Mitchell Adams Esam. Lindsay Faye Fetner, cum laude. Savannah Lee Fonda, cum laude. Jada Janae Gardner. Elise Lavon Gowan. Leslie Shaddix Green. Doris Tanisha Greer. (laughs) 
Sarah Elizabeth Harden. Emily Rachel Harrod. Shanley Cranford Hevner. Caroline. Caroline Leela Herndon. Trent Ross Hohorst. Matthew Kristen Hewlin, Magnum Cum Laude. Corona Natasha Hutchinson. Lindsay Diane James. Nina Elise Johnson. Yes. Cheyenne Thomas Calendanthio. Jessica Elizabeth Knights. And Melissa Stephanie Landles. <laughs> Cynthia Lavard. Annalise Marie Leahy. <laughs> Catherine Dawn Mayo, cum laude. <laughs> Haley Danielle Melvin. <laughs> Christian Rochelle Money. Rachel Elise Mullis. Catherine Elizabeth Myers. Markeisha Strobridge Owens. Sarah Parvez. Jessica Nicole Price. Brianna Alexis Scott. Alan Brendan Shepherd the second. Lauren Ann Shiver. Andrew Wade Simmons. <laughs> Kenneth Gregory Smith. <laughs> Carson Ritter Spear. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Marie Tripp, Magnum Cum Laude. India, Carlisa Trotman. <laughs> Jessica Elizabeth Tuttle.
Kelly Miller Wages. Emerald Christine Wakefield. Brianna Nicole Washington. Taylor Danielle Whitehead. Kiara C. Wilburn. Again, on behalf of the faculty, the staff, the administration, the students, and the alumni of Georgia Southwestern State University, congratulations. If I could get all the graduates to stand up for me, please. As a part of your graduation wardrobe, we've given you this really nice hat to wear. So from now on, when you wear this hat, I want you to move your tassel to the other side and wear it proudly as a graduate of Georgia Southwestern State University. And since you're graduating on such a special day, I must say, may the fourth be with you. All right, if I can get everybody else to stand up, we're gonna sing the alma mater. It's on the back of your program. If you get everyone to, to stay for the recessional, we would appreciate that. And I want to especially thank Jeff Green today for reading all those names for us. Well done. Thank you.